This is Dr. Nicholas Delgado again, part two, in our experimenting with radiation in our food. So what do we have here? We're using the Canary 100 once again, and we're going to first calibrate it uh, to make sure that it's ready to go. Okay. Now it's calibrated, and we're going to test some tofu. Now this tofu came from California, so it's not chirping. It should be rapid chirping. Let's try this um, nuts. Okay. This is from California. Let me recalibrate. Okay, that's chirping right there. We're getting a rapid reading, a, a radiation, alpha radiation reading. Okay, and let's try this Japanese rice. Remember okay. I said that uh, Japanese brand food doesn't mean that the source comes from Japan. This actually grows in California. That's not rapid enough. Okay, so what we've done is take in this seaweed that uh, wrap in uh, sushi, soak in water, and had put baking soda in it. We only soaked it for five minutes. Let's see the results. It's still test positive. Maybe we need to leave it a little bit longer. Um, yeah, and we'll try discarding the, the fluid that it's in so the baking soda can adhere to the radiation particles and discard it. We'll do that in the next part of the experiment. That's actually a little bit better reading, isn't it, compared to earlier. It's not chirping as much, only certain one spot. Well, what the baking soda will do, it'll attach to the radiation particles, so we still have to discard it. Okay, so let's try that.